basically I had I, I had like the Islam version of an exorcism when I was younger. All right, Ben, you ready? Ready as ever, be. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Uh, today slash tonight, Ben and I are going to be attempting to camp out in the Devil's Forest. Mm. So, welcome back, Ben. Thank you. It's yeah. been a while. Bro. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It, what has it been like? Almost two months now. About two months. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. I've been. Uh, just so you guys know, I've been working a lot, so it's hard to kind of match up me and Jazz's schedule. Um, it's crazy because. I go on trips, right? And then when I come home from these trips, I have a couple of days where I could just do things, you know, nearby where we live. Mm -hmm. But then those days, he's working. Usually. And it's like so frustrating it is because bad. you guys know, if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you guys know how long we've been attempting to plan this trip for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. bro, it's been like almost a year in the making. I think when yeah. it was winter time. So we were talking about it. We said we'd do it during the summer when it got warm and we didn't get to it then. And now it's cold again. Now it's cold again. We said, you know what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it before it starts snowing. Let's so. do it before it snows at least. Yeah. So now we're here. Man, man oh man. Well, a couple of things to expect. This is going to be on the vlog channel. So you guys are going to see some things that you won't see on the main channel video. And I want to say real quick, this is going to come a day or two after the main channel video drops. Make sure you go watch the main channel video. The link to that will be down in the description below. That's going to have like an hour or even more along with the footage from our experiences here. Now, I will say... We have filmed here a ton, Randonautica videos galore, yep. and we have experienced a lot of weird, unexplainable things. Yes. Don't get me wrong, the area that we're in is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, with like, obviously what goes on in here with, you know, the Amish community and the history here, mm -hmm. and we'll refresh that in a little bit. Yeah. But we've also had experiences where we always said to each other, was that like, like normal? Or was yeah. that paranormal, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. I'm expecting a couple of things tonight. We filmed Randonautica here tons. So I'm expecting for us to come across a bunch of weird stuff. I was here about like last week. I came with my mm. cousin Emra. Uh, Emra left back to Indiana. Unfortunately, he couldn't, he didn't want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. he, after his experience with me last time here, he's like, bro, I don't know how you do that shit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes alone, he's like, you're crazy. But um, me and him were here and there was like this People said it was an urn in the comment section. I don't know. It was like this big red thing. And there was like, it was like a dead animal inside. And like a lot of weird shit. And the uh, thing is, remember about a year ago when we were here in the wintertime, mm -hmm. someone threw out a baby goat in a black garbage bag. We, I don't know why. So many things were going through our head. We picked up the dead goat. We put it in my trunk. Mm -hmm. A lot of, we contacted police. It was, it was a whole scenario. And um, so a lot of crazy things happen here. So I am expecting to have some weird experiences, but I'm curious about the paranormal experiences because that's one thing that thousands of people have died here. Mm -hmm. Thousands. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot in sacrificial ways mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like witch hunting and, yeah. you know, similar to like the Salem witch trials when they, you know, how they did that stuff. So it was very similar here. Mm -hmm. the thing is about the Salem witch trials is it's very famous and known because of the name and, you know. Yeah, and how f***ed up it was. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, what, that's it's very fucked thing. up, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, that kind of stuff happened in a lot of areas, too. Not just yeah. Salem, but once again, like, some don't get talked about as much as others. What was the whole thing? It was like, they would throw the witch in the water, and if she float, if she floated... Yeah, they would tie something to her ankles. Ankles, yeah. Like, some weights. And yeah. And if she floated, she was a witch, right? I think that's what it was. And if she sung, she wasn't, but she's dead either way. Yeah, it's just like, it was so f***ed up. It's beyond f***ed up. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, so we got a bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff's still in the car. Uh, but we picked this area because we have a nice view over here. Um, it's kind of flat here. And there look like there, there's a fire pit right here. There's a diaper. A yeah. couple of things. Baby wipes. Uh, so we d decided... I think I just got a gust of the diaper. I did too. Yeah, did you? Yeah, every once in a while I'm getting a little whiff. <laughs> when the wind yeah. comes down. <laughs> the wind oh. blows it. You know what they say about uh, farting in the wind? What? What is that? What the f- That's like rumbling. I'm genuinely like- I was bassy. Very bassy. So we're in a very- Oh my god, that smells disgusting. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, okay. Um, we're in a very deep part of the forest and we didn't see a single person coming in here. 
mm -hmm. thing is when you do see a person in here it is questionable because obviously this area that we're in is a very huge amish population mm -hmm. so it's like oh someone's here you know yeah. are they up to there's a car that that's a car that's 100 but yeah bro i'm glad you're back i'm glad you're with me yeah yeah it's i missed good. this oh my god man it's, it's it sucks because like you know how the youtube some people on youtube are it's like oh ben's not there you know, something must have happened, yep. you know, like, and then Ben gets messages, I get messages, yep. and it... Okay. <laughs> what? Hello? Bro, what? I, once again, could be animals. Could. No idea. No idea. I guess we'll save that for when the nightfall comes. Yeah, we'll find out what that is. I later. hope you guys are proud of me. Look what I'm wearing. Kachow. Kachow. Boots. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, we're actually we actually gotta set up our tent before it gets dark. Cause, listen, I've probably set up a tent maybe once in my life. I don't think I've ever. Have I set up a tent? Something's coming. Something's getting closer. So yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no, nowhere. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I didn't die or anything. I'm still here. I'm still with us. But yeah, YouTube comments love to theorize as to what's going on with Ben. And actually, this is going to be an interesting vlog because I'm going to tell you guys. A little bit about actually oh my god you don't even know about this what i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna share something with you guys something very personal to me uh when i was younger i'll do it when it gets darker like a little bonfire story but um basically when i was younger i went through a lot and this was honestly crazy because I, uh, such a dark period in my life and when i look back at it it like makes me like choke up like I'm, uh, this is what i'm it's a long story, but um, in certain religions, you have, like, exorcisms. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going on here? Um, in certain religions, you have exorcisms. Yeah. In my religion, um, I'm Muslim, for those who don't know. And um, it was, like, the Islam form of getting help from... Uh, let's just say a, like a priest, for example, or mm -hmm. Iman, mm -hmm. or how we'd say. And um, I spoke about this to my mom the other day because I found an exorcism kit. Mm -hmm. um, long story, if you guys watch the channel, you know what an exorcism kit is. And me, my mom was helping me with something in my car, and she was like, you know, you have a cross in your trunk. What is that? You know, we're right. Muslim. Right, it, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But I was like, oh, it's actually because it, it was it was used for this. It's, it's called a sick call set. It's used for, like... You know, you could use it for if you're just sick or you could use it if you're on the, like, really, really needing an exorcism kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, and my mom was like, man, that brings up bad, you know, memories. And I'm like, well, what do you mean about that? And once she told me, it was like I instantly had, like, a thousand flashbacks come through my head at once. Bro, it was crazy because I... Sounds like you didn't want to remember it. It, it. I didn't. And it's such a dark period of my time. I'll share this with you guys later. I know it's kind of, I'm one of those guys that just like builds up the suspense. Like, I'll tell you guys later, but it'll be in this video. I promise. I just want to really get started on this tent before. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, Ben doesn't know about this. My girlfriend didn't know about this. I, I honestly yeah. forgot about this. I was nine at the time. Really? And it's crazy. And it stems even further back. Mm -hmm. So you know how we have tons of like paranormal experiences and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Certain people believe in ghosts. Some people don't. Some people believe in the otherworldly. Some people don't. And I do. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. And I have a very, very strong belief in it now. Mm -hmm. a very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to my mom. And my cousins were over. Uh, her sister was over. And I guess growing up, my mom, her sister, and her cousins, they used to play the Ouija board. But what they would do is they would draw it on cardboard, whatever cardboard they had. Keep in mind, my parents, my family is from Bosnia. So, like, at the point in time when they were doing this, there was a war going on. They were much right. Like, they yeah. didn't have, you know, Nintendo Switches to play. Or right. They, they, this is what they did for fun. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So my mom would say, like, no, there's so many experiences that they had where like nothing ever happened, but they had to really experiment with it. Like sometimes 
they were like, maybe we're doing the board wrong, maybe mm. we drew something wrong. But in reality, it's like when you open like something like a spirit world and you let something in. Some people always say also when you don't experience something and you're using the spirit board, mm -hmm. you should also be very curious. Did you just let something in quietly? Right. And it's, yep. you know, so a lot of things uh, stem from that. But there's some stories that my mom told me that she had paranormal wise. I'll share that all later. But um, I guess this right now will be a tense tutorial video. Hey, you ready? Go. Let's, do, Let's it. do it. So we're going to do it behind us because it's kind of flat behind us. Uh, figured we might as well uh, vlog this, you know, because first timers just bought this at Walmart. Four person tent. You know the vibes. Four persons for two persons. Exactly. We're going to have the extra Um, I will be honest, Ben. Yeah. I, I got us sleeping bags. I didn't get us uh, mattresses, air mattress. I okay. just figured sleeping bags would be warmer. That'd be better, yeah. And it's going to be cold tonight, so. Yeah. Right. You sure? Some weird sounds going on. Yeah. I hope it's not rain now. It said it wasn't going to rain at all today, and then all of a sudden, we got that notification, rain is starting in your area. Yep, on and off. Every minute or so. I wish this was one of those set, like tents that set themselves up. Apparently those exist. Oh, those are nice. Can you elaborate? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, he says. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me have oh, the yeah. string. No problem. <laughs> this is a good area, right? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no way. Oh, all right. Off to a good start, guys. A shotgun shell. Oh my god. Yo, the amount of shotgun shots that we've heard when In like this we area? spent Yeah. Oh my god. It's been nuts, bro. I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit over here. Sure thing. You guys are literally standing on a log right now. <laughs> I don't believe in tripods. No, I don't. Sorry. Too hard to carry around. Hey. Uh, oh my god. All right. Here. Set this to the side. I should put this on the chair. Um. So Ben. Yes. <laughs> Rainonautica's been insane. We gotta plan a new trip soon. We do. Where's been a okay? Give me a state that you've always wanted to be like go to. Like, if you think of paranormal, what state do you think of? I think of paranormal. Like, paranormal or just crazy state. Like, if you ever wanted to go to like, I want to go to that one. I forgot what it was. I don't know if it still exists or not. And I don't know where it is. But the comments are gonna fill up with it, so it won't matter. Uh, that one mirror room that's supposed to be in like it's like a building. And it's like the middle of nowhere, and apparently some really f shit keeps on happening there. Have you ever heard about that? A mirror room? It's like a building, and there's a bunch of mirrors on the inside. It's like a small building, and it's like in the middle of a desert. Really? And it's, yeah, well, this crazy shit's happened there. I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it. Right, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about it. Uh, I like that. But I like that idea, man. I think that's what I think of. Yeah, I think of horrifying paranormal. Hey, man, I'm down for it. Yeah, so here's the thing. People love the, like, when I go out into, like, the desert and West Coast stuff. So, like, and personally, I like it, too. Mm -hmm. I think, like, the West Coast is awesome. Yeah. So, I'd be down for it. I do love the West Coast. So, if I remember correctly, essentially, it goes from corner to corner, corner to corner. Mm -hmm. Right? I think so. Yeah. And I think these are all connected. This is all one piece, technically. Sick. Just gotta turn down the light a little bit. Just save our camera light for later. Yeah. Um. You did get a light, didn't you? Huh? No. Yeah. Because of the light in the car. I think. I maybe. got a bunch of flashlights too. Kind of lantern. Coming as prepared as possible. Do I want to connect this before? Um. Guys, do I want to connect this before? Or after? I wish we could do a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> but I don't have service. Not here. There we go. Oh my God, it's standing. Wow. Guys, we did it. Hold on. Let's get a 360 view of this bad boy. Oh man. We gotta get the top on her still, but. Yeah. She's looking good. She there, I'm sorry, there's no way four people. Well, maybe. Be sardines in a can, but. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta get our airbags, tons of things. So let us finish this up and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. I'm just gonna enjoy. What is this? Cider Donut Premium Small Batch Hard Cider. Bro, 6.9% alcohol. Is this a good <laughs> idea? Is this a good idea for... Cheers? Cheers. There we go. Alright. We got... Uh, here's the thing. 
The story I'm about to tell you guys and Ben, uh, no one knows about this. Other than my girlfriend and my family, no one knows about this. So I only heard the preview earlier. So yeah, us. It's kinda, warm. It tastes like yeah, it's warm. It tastes like a pumpkin donut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like from Starbucks or not Dunkin'. Um, yeah, like that's that's cider donut. Yeah, yeah, apple cider donuts. So here's uh, where it begins, right? When I was nine years old, I used to have night terrors, and it started out of nowhere, but it got really bad. At one point, every single night, I would have these dreams of my family or people close to me being brutally, like, murdered. Bro, as a nine-year-old, keep scary. in mind, I wasn't into any, like, violent movies or yeah. horror movies at that time. Like, I... I'm a nine years old. I'm first off. I just came to America like recently before that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have like the same. How would I say this? Like I, I didn't have like cable television too much or stuff. Like I mainly was just focused on school and like my playtime was like playing soccer or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I really didn't dwell into TV or any of the sorts. And like I never really had anything to base that off of. I would just randomly get these dreams of people close to me being like brutally murdered like i mean like being in choke holds with like guns to their head like jesus christ like as a nine-year-old bro and here comes the rain too i know but as a nine-year-old like you know that that's crazy shit mm -hmm. so my ideology of this to prevent this from happening was to stop sleeping so i would go days without sleeping because i was so terrified to sleep Dude, this mm -hmm. would scar me bro I would have to wake up in the middle of the night screaming, crying, running to my parents, my brother, like hugging them, like making sure they're like physically there, holding them mm -hmm. to, to get my sense of relief, to make sure they're there. Mm -hmm. So my remedy or my idea of just stopping all this was to just not sleep. What happens when you don't sleep for a couple days? Hallucinations. Yep. Doesn't help. It's a helicopter? Is it? It's a helicopter. At this time of the year? Here? I heard an airplane here earlier too, and I thought that was I've never heard an airplane here before. This different air traffic, I guess. I don't know. But basically I started seeing things. And it it got really bad. At some points like So my dad used to work uh first shift. So he would go to work at like five AM and stuff like that. And I'm very close to my parents. Like, I, I, I love them to death. Like, everything I do is for my parents, right? One morning, I was watching Chippendale. Classic. Classic, right? And I'm, like, dozing off. Like, my head's bobbing. I remember this vividly. And I see my dad in the kitchen from the where I was watching mm -hmm. TV. And he was, like, by the sink doing something. So it looked like he was heading off into work. It was, like, 5 in the morning at the time. So I run over there to grab my dad. I go to catch him like this, and I just go through what I thought was my dad. It was like nothing there. Holy shit. And I fell like face first onto the floor. I turned around, there's nothing there. Wow. This is how bad like my hallucination was getting, and I was like, Duh. you know? So I had to open up crying to my parents, telling them what was going on. Like my mom was very, very like understanding. You know, a lot of people that would go through something like this, they'd be like, oh, you're just having bad dreams. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My mom was very understanding of this, and my mom took it very seriously. So my mom flew me to Bosnia to see a, it's like the Muslim form of a priest, for example, Christianity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And like an Iman or Hoja and stuff like that. And it was probably the biggest like mosque in uh, Bosnia at that time. And I don't remember much from this meeting. All I remember is my mom like saying, the procedure that had to be done and like it's very scary for her she said and everything that happened I, I don't remember much of that at all mm -hmm. and it's very scary because like i don't know what's going on here yeah but based off of all that that happened after that my mom said like at least from what i said growing up was that my night terror stopped 
they completely stopped. They did after that. Yeah, not really? not a single night terror after that ever really? again. And wow. to this day, I can say that I probably I only have good dreams. Like I have soccer dreams and stuff like that. Like it's really like normal stuff. Really, you know? I don't I don't have dreams. <laughs> I, every night I have like soccer dreams. It's weird, but ever since then, like everything, you know. And my mom said some of the procedure, like after the fact, I had to keep something in my pillow, and I had to sleep with that specific pillow every single night. And after a certain amount of time, they had to take what was in that pillow and put it in a lake and like basically send it off into the lake. It was like this whole procedure she had to do. Mm -hmm. It was a very religious thing, mm -hmm. right? And before we get into the topics of this, I just want to say like, I know there's going to be people in the comment section who are going to like... Get upset. Get upset or yeah. argue about re religions and stuff like that. And I mean, but like I said, you guys could say whatever you want. I'm... I don't like to talk about religion or mm -hmm. politics or any of the sorts because there's a lot of people on the internet that will take all of that stuff and just create a problem with it, argue with it. Yeah, exactly. The first time I ever said that I was Muslim, I lost probably about a thousand subscribers. I remember that day. I lost like a thousand subscribers and I felt horrible that entire day because I was yeah. like, I felt like I did something wrong. But then realization came and I was like, bro, I'm a Muslim. And exactly. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, you know, so, I just want to say, like, before we continue talking about this, there's there's you know, that, yeah. that aspect. And I was thinking about that too as we were talking about it. I'm like, there's gonna be some, but there, there's nothing. I'm, it's not like I'm ashamed or anything. It's not. Right. Obvious, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I love everything about, you know, where I come from, my exactly. world, what I study, what yep. I, you know, everything. Exactly. And yeah, but let us continue. Um, started talking to my mom, my mom's sisters, my mom's cousins about things, and I didn't know too much about this. So keep in mind everything that I went through. Those like. Um, the night terrors and everything. Yeah. I completely forgot about that, bro. Up until I had that recent conversation with my mom about the exorcism kit, and then she told me, I swear it was like a switch went on in my head, and it was like I remembered everything at once. Mm -hmm. I got instant chills, and I was like frozen for a while, and I was like, I went through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had that moment before too, where someone tells you something fucked up you went through in your childhood, and then you remember it right when they tell you, and you're like, ouch. <laughs> There's and, a reason I forgot that. And it, it always makes me question, like, some of the things that I go through, you know, uh, when I do these videos and stuff like that. Is or it, even the choice to do this as a as career. A, yeah, is that like... It's almost like you... Destiny? Yeah, you know? like, or like subconsciously you're like, oh, I want to go into... I feel like I'm tied to it in one way yeah. or another, you know? Yeah. And yeah. obviously, like you say, some exorcisms are more extreme than others and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. The only way I could really explain that is a, as a sort of like... Like the Muslim version of a... Or Islam version of like an exorcism, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's the, really the only way I Because I, I can't... I don't know the name of it. I don't know the form of it. I really don't. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what I went through. I tried Googling it. I tried looking it up. Couldn't find anything. But back, let's backtrack a while back when my mom was younger. And she would get cardboard from boxes or whatever she would find. And mm -hmm. she would make the Ouija board symbols. Like the A through Z, the sun, the moon, goodbye, yep. hi, or yes, yes no. no. And they would do it obviously in their language and stuff like that. And, you know, some of the things that she's told me it, it, absolutely terrifying right now here's the thing some people believe in the other world these some people don't some people don't until they experience something and then it changes their lives forever yeah you know i was that type of guy too like i never i believed in the paranormal until i i, I personally experienced something mm -hmm. i was like yeah yeah it, it's there yeah so there's this one experience she told me so my uh family grew up in this house that had like the only way i could really explain it was that it had like support beams at the top. So okay. think of like ceiling, but instead of like a flat ceiling, there was support beams, there yep. was a bunch of them, right? Yep. They didn't have the ceiling finish. Yes, the ceiling yeah. so just like yeah. a bunch of two by fours yeah. like, separated from each other, right? Mm -hmm. And they said they woke up really late around three, four in the morning and walked into the kitchen, obviously dark, but they know the layout of their house. So mm -hmm. they just, we're well, not going through it. They mm -hmm. don't have phones to fucking guide themselves. Right, yeah, yeah. Going, yeah. and they bump into something and they're like, you know, whatever, and they try to, like, move around it, they bump into it again. And just take a couple steps back. Whatever light they had, they turn on the lights or their lantern, whatever they yeah. had. And all they seen was what they could explain was as big legs. Like this. And they looked up like this. Legs kept going. Legs kept going. And from the support beams, there was the knees. Jeez. So someone or something was sitting on these support beams feet legs were coming down onto the floor they bumped into the legs oh my god she says she tried to look up and she's so scared mm -hmm. just ran away just ran away and scariest thing enough 
the other people who were playing the Ouija board experienced something very similar. What it gave them, they said the, that's terrifying too. Because right, because like if you like if someone died there at that spot, and then you walked into them like their ghosts. I mean, I, maybe I watched too many horror movies. They I don't said know. It was something Ugh. so big. Yeah. That they felt like such a negative aura from it that like it, the only thing that they could describe it as was like the devil. Really. Like Satan. Like that's how they would say. Right. It. Yeah. And that that's what they would ex like explain that period of and after that that was like their let's stop guys yeah and the thing is when you stop does it ever go away once you invite something into the world does it ever really go away no, no. so then you know once i started talking to a, a couple of people about this really close to me and they were like well you know is that maybe why maybe you have something attached to you right and it, it i don't know bro that's scary I, I mean, it's maybe crazy. it's gone already because it, it did like the ritual or whatever, but then at again, least the dreams did. The yeah, so you know. maybe that's a good sign. It's scary though. It's scary as I uh, I didn't have experiences until I started doing this stuff. Before that, I didn't really have much. Man. So we talked about it on the main channel too, but it smells like death. Well, the smell of death, yes, but we we keep hearing things from the pond, and obviously the reason why we picked this pond to film at is because of the history yeah. of this pond, you know. Yep. So here we are at this pond, and uh, literally everything we're hearing is coming from here. So later on in this, you know, investigation and camping trip, we're gonna go down to the pond as close as we can, and see if we could potentially come in contact with something yeah you know yeah and um yeah crazy stuff man oh yeah i love Ooh. how you come back and we just go zero to 100 real quick really quick real quick man but i'm, I'm i will say this is pretty relaxing you know i it wish we nice, did have yeah. a fire I will it'd say. be nice to have a fire it would be nice but literally all the wood around this is completely wet we tried <laughs> it's it's no go it's not happening it's not happening so um We're just constantly looking around. We did hear coyotes at one point, but it seems yeah. like they've probably effed off. It's weird because every time I hear coyotes now, as soon as I hear it, I feel like we get the same facial expression. We look at each other and we're like, yep. every time, every time. No. <laughs> but I haven't had a run in yet. That's good. I don't, yeah, no, we haven't. Just rattlesnakes for me. Yeah, that. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. But I want to hear from you guys because obviously, we do have a very big community and obviously we have a very loving community as well. And the, the reason why you guys, some of you guys are so attached to the channel is because of the paranormal aspect. Some of you guys really like the paranormal videos. Some of you absolutely hate them. And yeah. I get that. You know, I don't, it's like I mean, cheeseburgers, if hamburgers. Yeah, if you're not you know? a, if you're not a believer, then. Yeah, I can't change your I can't perspective, change your on, perspective that, you know? on that. All I can say is that, you know, one day, God forbid you experience something really. It doesn't even have to be ghosts, guys. Like. My whole thing is I don't really know if it's like ghost. I just think that like, like what if it was like another dimension or something, and you're like you're peeking through. Like there's like so transdimensional theories and so like, many questions. It, there's so many things it could be. It it doesn't have to be like stereotypical ghosts, guys. It could be. This feels like a Joe Rogan podcast right now. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe Rogan. But um, no, seriously, because it makes you wonder. I, I, for the longest time, like, if someone brought up go, I'm like, Sh shut up. That's yeah. so stupid. Like, yeah. I'm sure they something has to be going on. Right, right. right. But then I, I put myself into a perspective, and I'll go to a haunted house. It's supposedly haunted, you know, has a haunted history and stuff. I'll go in there alone, and you really just sit there for a while, and you pique your interest. Mm -hmm. You will get answers. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what those answers are, mm -hmm. but you get answers. Mm -hmm. And I always say, there's people on the internet very quick to just say, you know, that, that can't be real. Yeah. What they're posting on the internet can't be real. Mm -hmm. Experience it yourself is all I could really exactly, say. Exactly, exactly. You know, I'm not telling you to go out there and just put yourself in whatever. Danger. But go go on a haunted tour or something and you, like, yeah. you will truly... They have a bunch of tours at, in Salem. I've heard they're really cool. If you want to get like an idea. The Did thing is about Salem, it's just a massive damn tourist attraction. It though. is. Well, that's what I was saying. It's like a good... 
it's when good they dip their toes in. Yeah. But when start. I went there, on one strip, like one road, one block, um, I had ten different witches come up to me dressed as like your cliche black and white like dress. One of them had a broom with her. Oh my god. And they were like, yeah, do you want a picture with me? A ten dollars. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. I, like, it's cool what they're doing. Like, they're bringing attention right. and stuff it like that. But they're just trying. At this point, you always have to wonder yourself. Is it is it a money trap? Is it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. And it's still riding those. Coattails. Coattails of the, those horrible people that did all that shit back then. So here's the thing. Like, we're in this area where very, very similar instances happen. Yeah. And we're going to, you know, see if we... Listen, just listen right now. That was a frog. That was a frog. I know what? frogs. But the voice. And it's cool because the area we're in is so quiet that if you hear something, you you, it's it's loud and clear. So. Mm -hmm. Oh man, but guys, thank you for joining us on this journey. You know, and. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer vlog than usual, but it's a more personal vlog, you know? Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys some stories that like, I just hit my reflex when you went, <laughs> you know? But, um, That's, that still works. That's it good. still works, yeah. Um, but it's a more personal thing. And I, that's what I wanna do. Like I wanna connect you guys on a more personal basis. Whereas like mm. some people just, you know, they do their thing and they... What the fuck was that? Bro, it sounded like something was standing right behind you. Like almost like, yeah. What's that? What the? I keep on thinking you're gonna look over there and there's gonna be a person standing there. Alright, we're shit my We pants. just switched from the vlog channel to the main channel because what? Big switch. Big switch. So. I don't like this place, bro. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep here. I know. I don't know about you, bro. But. What? I need a damn monster. Um. Right, guys um a little update probably one of the worst nights of my life um almost broke the camera not intentionally thank the god literally was on top of this cooler on top of that box and while we were using the ouija board the camera just flipped over like literally just flipped yep never seen anything like that in, in my, my life, life. after that's my phone you have a notification how do i get a notification you have service how do you get service where's my phone I have one bar right now. You're lying. I swear to God. On everything. We did it. Finally. Can you load a Netflix movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, one bar is hard. I just threw up. I just buried the Ouija board because from what my family... We still gotta bury that part. The planchette. You're supposed to bury that apart from the uh, Ouija board so they never come in contact. Do you want to bury it somewhere else? Yes. Somewhere else like, completely. Not in the forest. Not even close to here. I'm talking like... Detroit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll give you that. Let's go to Detroit. Yeah, that will never happen again, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just threw up over there. My throat feels like it's on fire. You know when you throw up and you get, like, the obviously acid yeah, reflux? Yeah, yeah. Like, but my throat right now, bro, feels like it is on fire. Mm-hmm. Amongst many things. The gas station food will get you. That, I guess. But Ouija board's gone. Uh, we keep hearing... The same like woman voice voices coming from the lake. Yep. On. The Ouija board said lake, so I, let's call it a lake, right? Um, technical here, you know. We asked where Laura was. It said in the lake. Yeah, that part wasn't fun. No, no bueno. Um. Whoa. 
What the f It's not wolves out here, right? No. What the f was that then? That sounded like howling. Sounded like howling. Yes. It's not yeah. close. Dogs aren't the only animals that howl. Yeah, keep on drinking. Let's keep on going. I was, I, my plan for tonight was to get drunk. To be honest. We got a couple more. I know, but I'm scared to drink them. I don't, I don't want to get like... Bro, imagine we get too drunk. That literally sounds like the craziest gust of wind coming only from there. None of the trees are moving an uh, uh, inch. Uh, just to like add on to it, there's the layer of mist over the water yeah. that is pouring out towards us. Yeah, it's like coming <laughs> towards us. Yeah. It, it's like literally a Scooby-Doo scene. Like stereotypical haunted. Yeah. 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 This. this is like your average horror movie. Yeah. But real. <laughs> but real. In real life. Well, um, I, we could probably find some dry wood somewhere. I'd like to start a fire, I'd be honest. That'd be nice. Just to warm up a bit. Because it is warm underneath those sleeping bags, but like, at the same time, like, it's not ideal temperature. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have a runny nose right now, so I know I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sick. It's fucked. Man, I don't know. Batteries on one for one of my lights. I have two more, so I th we're good. But okay, well, that's good. That was a branch break. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Hello. rumbling again that's that's the weirdest thing like the it is rumble and it feels like here's the thing like we could sit here and say oh it's a car or it's a plane but the thing is we've heard numerous cars throughout probably our entire trip here mm. and we haven't seen a single one anyway can you hold this just for one sec just so i can actually i don't have and never mind i was gonna show you on the maps how deep we are in this forest mm. like we are smack dab damn near in the middle of everything mm -hmm. so i don't You're know pretty far in 30 minutes about. 30 to 35. I don't know. Some of the responses we've been getting, not only on the Ouija board, but the Necrophonic app, and even without them, the sounds, the shrieks, the mm -hmm. screams. And I mean, I, we said it on the main channel as well, but like, some of the screams we hear, like, in our year here at Thumbs mm -hmm. Forest, we probably, probably have made 20 trips here at least. At least. Um, Probably in our 20 trips, we've heard shrieks before, screams, mm -hmm. gunshots. We haven't mm -hmm. heard any gunshots in it. That literally sound like a... Ah! I, feel, I feel like we're camped like too close to this place. Like to where like, all the shit I, is. Honestly, I thought this would be a great idea. It sounded great. Yeah, it there. sounded great. It sounded like a... Paranormal hotspot, if you will, but then yeah. I was like, now it's, it is a paranormal hotspot. It is a paranormal hotspot. Yeah, it's just more than we bargained for. It's almost like you, you really want something and then you finally get it and then and you're like, like ah. I kind of don't want that anymore. Yeah. But, uh, you think you want it until it happens and then, uh, nope. Yeah, I'm guilty of that, thinking that too, so. You think you could be the hero in the situation yeah. if, if like someone robbed a bank or something? Yeah. Guys, you're not that, you're not that guy. Or that girl. No, I know. I, I've seen instances before where like... Someone tried? Uh, that's bad. All I'm gonna say, guys, I think this may be the end of the vlog, but at the same time, if you haven't already, go watch the main channel video. Like I said, the link to that is down in the description below. That's come out before this vlog. And... All I'm gonna... 
These fucking sounds. I hate this place. It's like you try to talk and it's just like insert spooky noise here. I'm gonna be honest. I'm telling you just right now, just based on how I feel, how sick I'm getting. Um bunch of things too. I don't know if we're gonna do the full twenty four hours. Yeah. I had a feeling after you threw up. Yeah, after I threw up, that's kinda like a thing. But it wasn't like a food throw up. It wasn't like a nauseous. No, you like it was an empty stomach it, throw up. It was like a weakness throw up. Like mm -hmm. I felt fa like weak fatigue mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I feel decent now, but at the same time, it's like there's almost like something telling me to stay. Like I have this weird feeling I had to like stay, like find out what's going on, what really happened to Laura. Like you know, so I think that's probably because like. Be honest, bro. Kind of, whoever was talking kind of made it a little personal for you. Very Maybe personal. you feel like the whole thing with the sleeping and dreams. Yeah. Maybe that's why you feel like you need to stay. Maybe, but all right, guys. If you haven't already, go watch the main channel video. I'll see you guys in October. Uh, we're gonna have tons of haunted vlogs. I think I have like six ready. Like literally six paranormal videos ready at your disposal. So. Um, see you guys then. Uh, we're gonna go investigate some more. So, peace. Do it.